guys, so that's Prep here and welcome to another video. Today I've got another book review on one of the Black Flame books from A Nightmare on Elm Street. This time, book three, Protégé. I ordered this one a few weeks ago, got it a few weeks ago, and looks brand new. I did read it, uh, because, you know, but I, I always read like this, you know, I never break the spine. <laughs> the spine look, should look great. It should look like this. Anyway, today I'm going to review this book. It's written by Tim Wagner, who I actually contacted on Instagram, and uh, I'll actually be doing an interview with him later on this month or next month. Uh, someday soon, definitely. Yeah, that will be fun, so definitely stay tuned for that. But anyway, now we're going to do the book review on this one. And when I wrote the review, I wasn't contacted in any way with Tim, so I'll definitely be honest with this review. Uh, so I won't be like, yeah, this book is perfect. It's better than Dream Swall and Suffer the Children and any book I've read. It's the best book ever. No, no, I'm, I'm actually going to be honest. Uh, just so you know that as well. Now, I do got to say it was a really good read. It was almost as good as Dream Spawn. Which, if you've seen the last review, I absolutely love Dreams One. It's my favorite tie-in, and it was this one came pretty close to being as good. But I prefer Dreams Spawn's characters and prefer Protege's story because the story in Protege and the way everything goes with uh, Freddy Krueger and stuff is really creative. It's really well done. The story was a little bit more interesting than the story in Dreams Spawn for me personally, but I just love the characters in Dreamsball a little more because the characters in Dreamsball are amazing and not not to say that these characters are bad or anything uh, but they're just not as good as Dreamsball which is with you know these characters are like the characters in Protege are like as good as in part one or part two from the movies you know um, which is still really good actually for a slasher book <laughs> this book is sort of like Dream Child but done a lot better. It's like Dream Child and the first movie combined, mixed together, and it's really good actually. This again has a really mysterious sort of prologue, just like Dream Spawn had, and it's it's it immediately gets you hooked, just like Dream Spawn. The reason it's called Protege is because Freddy uses this one kid as like basically a doll. Basically, he's basically like a slave to Freddy now. And that's really awesome, actually. He uses him like a doll, really. And there's even a scene where um, Freddy mentions Pinocchio, which was really fun to see because he is actually like using him as a doll. Jerome is the main character. Now, before I get into his character and stuff and what he's like, I just want to say I love the fact that this is a Freddy book, Freddy media form, that has a final guy. Not to say that I hate final girls, because those are mostly better, and I... I love the fact that horror movies mostly have female the final characters, but uh, for a change, sometimes it's actually fun to see uh, a male uh, final final girl, you know, a uh, scream king. <laughs> this book has it, and from all the books I've read so far and all the movies I've seen, you only get a final girl in a Nightmare on Elm Street uh, media in this book and uh, Freddy's Revenge Part Two. So that was really refreshing to see again because it's. It's only been done like once, so I actually quite like that uh, about this book too. He was really likable, he was definitely the best character of the book, which was really good because in Dream Spawn, the second main character, uh, Jane, was really good. Or, no, Lola, I think. Lola was the horror fanatic. Um, she was really good, but the main character wasn't as good as her, which was a shame, you know. But um, the main character was still really likable in the book, if you want to see the full review, just click here or there but it's fun to see in this book that the main character is the best character because that's the person you spend most time with you know now drone does get bullied and that leads to some really cool scenes I'm not gonna spoil what happens uh, but it's actually really fun he also has like anger issues and there's a plot twist with the anger issues later on and that that was really fun to read actually then you have Jerome's aunt Becca which is actually a twin from his mother who died in the prologue, spoiler alert, sort of, well it's in the prologue so <laughs> you'll find out in the first few pages anyway, but yeah Jerome's mother is dead but his aunt is still alive and but his aunt is still very much alive and she actually looks exactly like his mother which is why they 
sort of bought a relationship to in the book. And she's very close to Jerome, but the thing that stops them from being even closer to each other is, well, that brings me to the next characters, Jerome's father and stepmother. They don't like Alan Becker for some reason, I don't know why. I kind of hated Jerome's stepmother, but later you find out that she actually really liked the Jerome, but is just trying to be protective towards him, trying to be a good mother. Jerome also has a girlfriend and like a best friend, but they're kind of forgettable and I don't even remember their names, you know. Uh, but they were, they were, they were likable, you know, but forgettable. Now his best friend's parents have a video store and that, that's something I really like because I, I always have these like really, really vague memories of the video store. Um, but I still do have them, so it was really uh, fun to see a video store in his book. Also, there are some really creative things happening in the video store. You can probably already guess it, but um, I guess you already guessed that when I said the video store, like there would be some cool shit happening with Freddy. Now, I do gotta say that this book has the best ending from all three of them uh, that I've read so far. The best ending from Sovereign Children, Dream Spawn, this has definitely been the best of them so far. I haven't read them all, but definitely the best so far. Anyway, I really don't have anything else to say except thank you guys for watching. These are the ones I've read so far. Um, almost finishing up The Dream Dealers, which I'm reading now. I still need to get my hands on Perchance, Perchance, Perchance to Dream, something like that, um, which is book four. But unfortunately, I can't get that one because that one is really expensive. So if anyone wants to send it to me, send it to me, I'll read it and I'll review it. And unfortunately, I can't right now because I don't have it. But I do have Dream Dealers, so that review is coming up. Also, if you want to read these books, but don't have the money or don't want to spend that much money on them, then you can definitely go to the AD Slash Librarian. The links are in the description because he narrates all of them in audiobook form. So definitely go check that out and I'll see you guys later. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild tonight.